The dreaded, let me think about it. How many times have you heard that objection, whether it's over the phone, face to face, the old, let me think about it, which kind of stops you dead in your tracks, unless... My name's James McDonald with H and to close and I've been working with realtors for several decades now, in fact, and have coached over 30,000 throughout the years, particularly in the area of lead conversion, both lead conversion to appointment and then appointment to sign contracts. And what I'm going to share with you here today are some really valuable tips to overcome this let me think about it objection that no doubt you've heard over and over again and actually that is the first point that i do want to make here is that the number one step is always assessing whether this is the exception order rule and by that i mean are you hearing let me think about it all the time is it the norm no matter what whether you're on the phone trying to book an appointment or whether you're face to face trying to get a contract signed or whatever the case may be you're just hearing it all the time because i'll tell you if this is happening with regularity. It's because of what you're doing that's causing this to happen. And very likely what it boils down to is this, let me think about it, is a request for more information. What your prospect or client is telling you is with the information that you've provided to me, I am not able to make a decision. It isn't enough, it is insufficient in order for me to do that. So of course the remedy is Moving forward, make sure you provide more information, more unique reasons why the prospect would move forward with you in your presentation in the first place, thus avoiding the let me think about it from the onset. Now, let's take the other side of the coin. I don't hear let me think about it all the time, but it does come up from moment to moment or from instant to instant. Okay, well, if that's the case, then it's likely that you're providing more than enough information and that this objection needs to be handled on a case by case basis. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about this. Number one, if we're talking about booking an appointment, maybe you're on the phone with a prospect and you'd like to book an appointment with them. The number one reason why you'll get the let me think about it is fear of cost and obligation. If the prospect sees the benefit in meeting with you, they see the help that you're providing, but they fear cost and obligation as being the sort of string attached. It's very likely that they're going to decline your offer, but they're not just going to say, uh, yeah, no, I, I really don't want to do that. What they'll very likely do is they'll disguise it with a number of objections, the, the chief among them being, let me think about it. So number one tip, you cannot emphasize the removal of cost or obligation enough. You need to constantly say, it's an absolutely free appointment. You're never obligated to buy a home. Leave your wallet in the car. You know, there's no charge for the appointment. Use language that makes it very clear. You can focus as the prospect strictly on the benefit that I'm offering you without being clouded by the fear of cost or obligation. You'll be amazed at how often that eliminates the let me think about it objection that you may be hearing. Here's another one that you can do. If we're talking about booking the appointment and the let me think about it objection comes up there, book a tentative appointment. You know, we're both busy people and since we're on the phone together right now, why don't we set up a tentative time and we'll pencil that in. And that way, if it works out, that's wonderful. But if it doesn't, we can always reschedule it or pick a better time, what would likely be better for you? Something this afternoon or perhaps tomorrow or the weekend would be more convenient. What you're doing is you're using language that makes it clear, this is flexible. Okay, you don't have to be afraid, it's flexible. We're not carving anything in granite here. Let's pencil in a tentative time that will likely work since we're both busy and that way, if it does, we can have that scheduled. And if it doesn't, we can always reschedule. You're using language that is extremely non-threatening, which helps with the let me think about it. Because remember, the let me think about it very likely is just a disguise. It's a disguise for, I don't feel comfortable. I'm afraid that I'm obligating myself or this is going to cost money or 
if it's happening over and over again, as I said, it's a plea for more information. Okay, but what about the appointment itself? Let me think about it. Hey, you know, you're going to need to get all buyers to sign upfront buyer agreements outlining your commission. This is across the board. Every agent is going to need to do this. You think you're going to hear the objection, let me think about it, when you put your buyer agency contract in front of them? Of course you're going to. One of the best ways to handle the let me think about it objection is to address it before it comes out of their mouth. And one of the best ways of doing that is offering what we refer to as a cancellation guarantee. So the language you would use is, you know, this is a lot I understand, and it might be wise for you to go and think about this and make sure that you're doing the right thing. But I would caution you, going and think about it, you know, for a night or two really doesn't solve the dilemma. I want you to be able to go and think about it tonight, tomorrow night, and every night and make sure that you're doing the right thing. And the way that I make that possible is I offer to you and all of the clients that I work with what I refer to as my cancellation guarantee, which I'll show you right here. And what my cancellation guarantee outlines in writing is that if at any time for any reason you don't feel I'm doing the job that you anticipated, then you can cancel our agreement without penalty. What this means is that the onus is on me to exceed your expectations every day, or I would fully expect you to take me up on my cancellation guarantee. But of course, I know what you don't, which is I'm going to do an excellent job for you and your family as I do for all my clients. And you're not going to want to cancel our agreement. I just would like you to have the peace of mind of knowing that I can't just do a great job to get your business. I have to do a great job every day to keep your business. So you're not just thinking about whether you want to work with me today. You're actually thinking about it every day. Is that helpful? Obviously, there's a whole lot more that we can learn in terms of scripts and dialogues and just really using what I refer to as a logic hammer where the prospect has been addressed, acknowledged, and we've used logic to combat these most common objections. Let me think about it. It's just one of them. So bear all this in mind, and I certainly hope that you found this helpful. There's a lot more where this came from, I might add. Now, whatever platform you're on right now, um, you can like, and if you haven't subscribed already, Agent Inner Circle, there's all kinds of further tips coming up. So make sure that you're staying tuned to that. And if you'd be interested in taking part in the masterclass that we offer, it's called Agent Lead to Close. So if you go to www.agentleadtoclose.com, it's a masterclass. It's pay as you play. There's no contract. You cancel any time, but what we do is this kind of training, scripts and dialects. So there's never going to be anything that would come out of your prospect or client's mouth that you're not already extremely well-versed and absolutely master so that we get to the point where you actually want to hear objections because it's an opportunity for you to look smart. So maybe that requires you taking this training for, you know, several weeks or a couple of months or whatever it might be. That's completely up to you, but we sure hope you do. In the meantime, I'll look forward to providing you more tips like this one, courtesy of Agent Inner Circle. Thank you so much, everybody. Have a wonderful day.